And one of the stories that I writ wrote in my book called uh, When Love Is Not Enough, The Breaking of a Child, I talk about the story, it's called a video game, the video story, where uh, a dear friend of mine called me um, one day and it was like six o'clock in the morning. She was terrified, she was angry. Um, I'm half asleep. Um, she starts out on a hundred. I mean, she's going off and I was like, calm down, calm down. And the situation where her husband and her had separated, divorced, and they had their 12-year-old son, and the relationship had not been the best of a lot of animosity on both sides, and they were, she was angry with him, and he was angry with her. And this particular time, it was close to Christmas time, and the father wanted to buy his son this video game. And my friend, the mom was like, you no, know, she was about Christian, she loved, you know, she didn't want her son to be watching, you know, these shooting, these guys shooting and killing and blood and stuff. So she opposed to her, her uh, uh, ex-husband buying this video game. And he would vow to buy this video game for his son. Uh, so she called me to kind of get my opinion. And uh, so when I finally got her calmed down a little bit, um, I pretty much told her that he had a right to buy his son that game. I said, I understand where you are, but he, as a father, he has a right to buy his son this video game. Now, if it was a, you know, 22 or 38, I would be opposed to that. But it's a video game, and though your opinion about it is your opinion, it's not his opinion. And so she didn't particularly like that answer. Uh, but I, um, but I, and she told me I took his side. I didn't necessarily. I just wanted her to do what was right because he had every right to buy his son a video game. And uh, so I tell you, I told her this is what you can do. Um, you can, you know, have a have a heart to heart talk with him, and pretty much say, um, I don't approve of this, but he's your son. You have a right to do it. However, that video game is not to come to my house. And the moment it comes to my house, I'm going to put it in the trash can. And so she called him and she told him that, and he pretty much brushed her off and like, you know, I really don't care about that. I'm buying my son this video game, and uh, and he did. And so it's coming Christmas time that morning. Um, she bought, you know, his son a video game. And again, she went over with him and said, don't, don't bring that game to my house. And so, as you know, end of the story, right? No, not really. Because about three weeks later, the video game did end up at her house. Uh, it probably had been there earlier, but she didn't know about it. But this particular time, the son forgot to lock the door. And when she did, um, she opened up the door and there he was playing a video game. Now she's angry, she's mad, and she texts the game, and she's about to put it in the trash can, but she had another thought, and that was to call me again. And she called me. And this time, she was a little calmer, but she was still angry. Pretty much, I guess, to tell me, your advice didn't work, and so I'll put this game in the trash can. And I said, you know what, you have every right to. But before you put it in the trash can, why don't you call the father and tell the father what happened? And she kind of reluctant. That's not going to do any good. I said, well, just, just try it. So she did. She called her father and said, hey, I found this game. It is my house. Um, he, he, your son bought it. And I could put it in the trash can, but I'm calling you. And this time, he thanked her for not putting that $80, day, $80 game in the trash can. And he had to come to Jesus meeting with his son and told his son the next time the video game ended up over your mom's house, I'm going to put it in the trash can myself. And so that was kind of the end of it. So this particular time, the mom, about three weeks later, she asked the son about the video game. And the video game, the son said, Mom, I just, I saw, I gave that video game to my friend. So what would have been a another argument, another fight, the mom would have lost, the kid would have lost, the daddy would have lost, because there's been another tension, end up being a, a good story. And so many times, it's better to be bright than right. You don't have to win every battle, every, you know, make sure that when you're fighting a battle that it's worth fighting. Don't get, you know, fighting battles that don't really matter. And now they was about to have a big fight about a video game that was gonna last for another two or three months. And so it's, it's always wise to have people around you who got a sound head, who's got good advice, that's not gonna necessarily take your side, but it's gonna be on the right side. And so that, that's one of the stories that I write in the book. And uh, that mom to this day thanked me for that decision because she, even though she was angry with it, she realized it was the right decision to make.